everyone. My name is Freddy Vega. I'm the CEO and founder of Platzi. Uh, in Platzi, we make online education effective, which means that we found a way to make people actually commit to online courses instead of just signing up and never going there again. Uh, we've done several courses. Uh, one of the courses that we have, we did it with RethinkDB, which is a really incredible course. So if you want, I'm, I'm going to guess most of you guys already know RethinkDB. But if you have friends that want to start from zero, to knowing a lot about how to do things with RethinkDB, we have a course for that. Uh, to give you a little bit more of context, uh, we started in Latin America, so we just started here in the English-speaking world. Two years ago, we started in Latin America, and we're right now the biggest player in online education uh, in Latin America, in, uh, in terms of teaching about technology, design, programming, marketing. We have 90,000 students around the world, and we launched in the US uh, like two to three months ago when we went through Y Combinator. We, uh, we were part of Y Combinator winter 2015, which was really incredible, and that's when we launched in English. Um, these are our courses right now. We teach mainly vocational skills about things that are happening in our fields and uh, related to design, programming, and marketing. And we've had amazing people teaching wi with us. The people from ReThinkDB, classes from the guys that created Sales.js, uh, the guys that created GitLab, which is an incredible way to, it's like GitHub, but you own it and it's open source. Uh, we did a class on how to build online communities with Product Hunt, which is probably what's going to replace TechCrunch in the next couple of years. The five laws of interface design. If you're interested in design, this is probably my favorite class that we have in English. Uh, it's from Kevin Hale, one of the best designers that I've ever known. And it really teaches you how to do interface design beyond traditional design even if you're not a good designer, or even if you are, it's really, really good. And we also have a new class that is not right there, that it's called uh, Anchor and Ask, how to convert signups into real customers, from one of, uh, of the companies that went through YC with us called Outbound IO. The thing that we do differently to other online education platforms is that we do live stream classes with real-time collaboration, which means that exactly like it's happening right now over there, uh, people are watching us right now live and streaming. That's the same technology that we use to stream our classes. We do live stream classes, and while the classes are going, we have real-time collaboration among, student, among students. Uh, students can share files, they can share notes, etc. Most of our classes have between five to 10,000 concurrent viewers. Uh, this is not one of those, this is just a talk, so we have something like 500 people watching us live. Uh, but still, it's a really good, it's a really good number. This is the standard of uh, how many people we have. Uh, when you have this many people, five to 10,000 people per class, that creates certain effects, real-time collaboration effects among the community that are really hard to control. Like for example, if you only have a live stream and a chat, you're gonna get an, um, an incredible amount of trolls. Just go to Twitch and you're gonna see what happens when you have that, that kind of people. So you have to create collaboration tools that doesn't that makes them create the best of them instead of the words. That's make th that makes them share everything that they're learning instead of just saying, oh yeah, the teacher is fat, and, and stuff like that. Why do we think that live streaming and real-time collaboration really works? Because while most online education platforms have a 7% of completion rate, we at Platzi have a 70% completion rate. Once a student starts a class, once a student starts a course, 70% of them will finish everything. This is almost one order of magnitude better than most online education platforms. And we're absolutely sure that the tools that we created around live streaming are the ones responsible for this. This is how it works. This is an offline class. This is what, this is what normally people will see when the classes are not live. So on the right side, is that the right side or there? You're going to find the, all, all, all the classes. This is the Rating DB course, for example. And this is a screenshot that I took five minutes ago showing what the students see right before a live class starts. So over there, you have the traditional stuff like tutorials, videos, etc. We also do a little bit of clever things around video. Uh, we found a way to compress video so that you only need 600 kilobits per second to stream 720p. Uh, that's really important to us because uh, part of the philosophies of Platzi is that it shouldn't matter where you're born to get access to high quality education. And in Latin America, we have the shittiest connections possible. So it was really, really important to, to make it possible to stream 
uh, high high quality with as low bandwidth as possible. So 600 kilobits per second, and that works also for recorded videos. On that side, that from your perspective, that would be the right side, yeah. Uh, on that side, you're gonna find the question and answer system, which works basically like Reddit or Quora. We use exactly the same algorithm, the Randall Monroe algorithm, to rank by points, by a speed of votes, etc. It's kind of real time, but it's not where the magic actually is. The crown jewel of what we do is this, and this is another screenshot that I took uh, like 20 minutes ago. This is our live streaming uh, classes, and the things that we do here is, for example, on the right side, we have the note system, the system that takes the notes. It looks like a chat, but everything that you write there is gonna be recorded on the tab that, that's called my notes. We let people know that. So you rarely see trolls, even in massive classes. Uh, also, if you like a note from someone else, you can put a star on it and record it on your own notes. At the end of the class, or during the class, uh, we do an algorithm, and that's where RetinDB uh, goes in, by the way. We use an algorithm similar to the one that Reddit uses to measure what kind of notes got the most amount of stars. What, what were the notes that were saved the most? And we make that, those, we make those the best notes. So in the recorded class, you not only have the teacher generated content, but also the student generated content at the same time. Uh, on the bottom side of the video, you're gonna see the files. The teacher can drag and drop any kind of file in the world and the students are gonna see it immediately, in real time. We discovered early on that one of the main sources of frustration when people are learning uh, complex technical skills is copy and paste, because you have to copy and paste by hand from a whiteboard or from a projector, and that's kind of medieval. That's how we used to do that 100 years ago. And now with all this technology, you only have to drag and drop, and this kills syntax mistakes. Sometimes people get so focused on I'm um, missing a semicolon and I don't know what it is, that they forget the rest of the education process and they get frustrated and they abandon it. We have a lot of these small incremental uh, improvements on making people truly focused that gets us to that 70% completion rate. Uh, we used to use, uh, uh, well, one last thing, do you see where it says links? You can share links, basically, that's it. If a teacher shares a link, everybody's gonna see it in real time. We used to use Node.js for this, uh, but the story is a little bit more complicated. Uh, our tech stack, it's, uh, it's, it shows how much we've evolved uh, since we started. We started this application with Python and Django and MySQL. That was the first version of our application. Eventually, we wanted to do more real-time stuff, and I thought that Tornado, uh, the real-time uh, library for Python, was gonna be enough, but it wasn't at all. It's not really designed to scale to this kind of uh, amount of people, or we were using it wrong, I don't know. The point is that uh, we decided to go to Node.js and Socket.io for most of the stuff that we're doing in real time. And because we needed to write a lot of things in, uh, as fast as possible, we went to MongoDB. Then we found the issue that it was really hard to communicate Django on, on Node.js. It was really, really hard on Socket.io. Uh, so to share variables, to share content, we decided to use Redis in the middle. And then you have algorithms like the one that we're using when you share nodes and when you want to rank those nodes and when you want to pass the Reddit algorithm to see the speed of the node. It, it's a messy thing. And we were starting to use a lot of uh, power from our AWS servers, etc. Then I discovered RethinkDB. And this is some of the things that we're using now on RethinkDB. Uh, we're migrating from Node.js, Socket.io, MongoDB, to RethinkDB gradually. Right now what we have is that we're using the change feed to, to we implemented our node system in the change feed. That's the one that we migrated so far. And it's been really, really great. Not only it's faster, it's also really easier for our developers to start. That's something that surprised me at first. Uh, I thought that RethinkDB is gonna be, was gonna be this, it was gonna be helpful, but also really complex to start with. But the way that it's structured, because it's really, it, they've been really thinking about this thing, focus on real-time applications. So going from Node.js, Socket.io, et cetera, to the change feed and the way that it works was way, way easier than we thought. And that's what we're using right now to share the notes. Also, we're using Requal, the query language from RethinkDB, to do the, the measurements on what are the best notes, how to detect which ones are the students that are collaborating the most. And this, by the way, is really important to us. 
Another thing that we discovered developing Platzi is that when a student shares something with their peers, that almost always means that that student is going to finish all their classes. And that also means that the student is going to be an incredible student. We try to hire our own students. And right now, 80% of our team uh, are graduates from our own platform. Uh, and we have an internal tool. Uh, we call it Platzi Rank. But to be honest, it's a terrible tool with duct tape and stuff. But Platzi Rank is basically a lot of queries that we use in parallel to try to identify the kind of signals that let us know that a student is going to be great. When they want to share something with another student, that's a very strong signal that they're going to be great because they are sharing knowledge. And that's both part of the philosophy of Platzi and an indicator that that's a great professional. Uh, before RethinkDB and Requal, it was a messy process. It still is, a little bit, but it's way easier and it's running way faster because it's running right there in the, in the database. By the way, before Requal, I had a team against stored procedures in databases because I thought they were going to make me stay in things like Oracle and MySQL, et cetera, forever. But Requal really is worth it. And in the future, um, uh, we're, we're looking into using uh, binary files. Um, as you may remember, we allow uh, our, our teacher sorry, to drag and drop any kind of file. Right now, you can drag and drop uh, code, images, PDFs, docs, even Adobe Illustrator. Uh, for PDFs and Adobe Illustrator, we use a server-side process to convert them into an image. But the actual effect for the students is that they're seeing it right there. They don't have to download it or anything, so it really works. And for code, we let them see it right there, and we do syntax highlighting on it. It helps a lot. But the process right now, it's the messiest thing in the world. At first, we wanted to do it through Socket.io, but Socket.io and Node.js, they're not really good tools to send a lot of megabytes. Uh, even one megabyte, uh, when you have five to 10,000 people. Uh, so we got a lot of um, errors on 502 bad gateway uh, pages and stuff like that. Eventually, we ended up uh, building a hacky way in which when a teacher drags and drops something, we use only Ajax and send that through our Django application. The Django application receives the file and sends it to Amazon S3. Amazon S3 sends a signal to, through Redis to our Node.js application, and our Node.js application receives the URL of the file and lets everybody know, hey, he, hey here's a file. And everybody see it, and then when they click it, they go to S3, and it's really fast, but it's a nightmare to maintain. Uh, I hope, I have no idea, but I hope, that RethinkDB with binary files is going to help us a lot. And this is the next step in the experiments that we're doing with RethinkDB. So mainly what I wanted to say is, oh, no, this is actually a surprise. But thank you very much to the RethinkDB team for, for everything that they have done for us. Thank you, RethinkDB. And hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Mexico. So why is that here? Here's the thing about RethinkDB and something that we are both worried and excited. Last year, we did this huge event called PlatziConf Mexico. We had no idea how big it was going to be, and it ended up being 1,000 people on site in Mexico City uh, and 30,000 people on streaming. We've never had 30,000 people before on streaming. We told everybody everything was going to go to hell, and it kind of did, but we, we figured it out along the way. Uh, in fact, a power, a power generator blew before we started the, the presentation. Yeah, Mexico is special. Um, but everything worked out fine. Uh, the event was so big that we were worldwide trending topic all day. We also used all the money that we had left on Amazon Web Services to be able to keep that going on. Um, but it was, a, it, it was worth it. And this was in the past when we were using Node.js. This is the next event that we're going to do. Uh, this is PlatziConf Mexico 2.0 with two power generators now. Uh, it's going to happen the next Saturday. Actually, I'm flying to Mexico tomorrow, uh, May 2. We are expecting way more people because in, in the uh, last year, it was only the Platzi team and we were only doing stuff in Spanish. Now, we're doing stuff in English and Spanish. We're going to have real time translation, which is, by the way, another thing that we built through RethinkDB, and I forgot to tell you about it. Uh, we have now real time transcripts of everything that the teacher is teaching, uh, both in, in English and Spanish. Uh, we have the same system that I talk about. And there's a thing about RethinkDB that got me really excited. 
we, we tried this with the Product Hunt cards. Uh, Product Hunt is really popular. And when they did their cards on building online communities, the way that RedThingDB automatically scales helps us a lot. But we've never tried it with, uh, with this amount of audience. In Plastic of Mexico, uh, we're going to have Sam Alman, the president of Y Combinator, going over there as a speaker, uh, the team of Reddit, uh, the team of Sales.js, and some other really cool guys and girls as speakers. So we are expecting 1,500 people on site and 60,000 people on streaming, which is double than last year. And I'll let, you guys, I'll let you all of you guys know if everything goes fine and if, if it was thanks to RedThingDB or RedThingDB's fault. <laughs> I hope it's the first one. And really, we're really glad that we went to, uh, that we migrated from what we had before to RedThingDB. It's really, really, really great and everybody should check it out. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>